as a refresher for um, creating assemblies, I just wanted to put another assembly together so that we could look at the steps um, and you could kind of just see it one more time. Um, so remember that when we were making an assembly, it's when you're taking parts and you're putting them together um, using constraints and um, other tools in Autodesk. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on assembly. So here is um, my palette. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place some parts by clicking place up here in the corner. I'm going to place the components that I plan on using in my assembly. Um, so I'm going to take the cube with a hole and I'm going to place one of those. Um, I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to hit place again. And this time I'm going to place uh, two cubes. So I'm going to open up that and there's one here here's one here I'm gonna hit escape um, and then uh, I'm going to these cubes are made with the material water that's why they look like that um, and then I'm gonna place a triangular prism so I'll click triangle open and I'll place a triangle and I'm gonna hit escape and I'm gonna just hit the home thing um, and I'm just gonna move these around a little bit it's funny the um, the water color is uh, is a little bit confusing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cube with hole in the middle. I'm going to put a cube on each side. I'm going to put the triangle on the top. Um, so I'm going to use constraint. So I'm going to click on constraint. Uh, and remember that by default, when you click on constraint, um, sometimes well, no, all the time. Um, mate is what the default setting is. So you'll always already be on mate when you first open constraint. So I'm going to mate the side of the cube with hole to the side of the cube that's next to it. So I just um, turned and uh, it, you might have heard that noise before. There was a little bit of a noise that happened when um, that constraint went together, which is kind of cool. It tells you it's working. Uh, make sure you push apply. And then we're going to flush the fronts of these so that they are on the same plane. I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm going to flush the tops. Remember, um, in order to get flush, uh, that is this button that I'm hovering over right now. Um, so now if I hit the home button, you can see that these two, I'm going to just hit escape again, these two pieces are attached. And so I'm going to click constrain. Again, it's on mate. I'm mating the side of this cube to the side of the cube with hole, apply, I'm going to flush the top with the top, apply, I'm going to flush the front with the front, apply, and now I've got three blocks that are um, attached and flushed and mated and great, and the last thing I'm going to put on here is the triangle. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go I'm going to kind of change my view cube so that I can see the side of the triangle I need. Um, I'm going to hit mate and I'm going to select the face of the triangle that I want to mate with the top of this cube right here. Apply. And I'm going to flush. First I'm going to flush the back of the triangle with the back of the cube. So go ahead and go back here. Flush right here right here apply um, I don't know if that's what I wanted it to look like let's let's close this out real quick I might have to undo that one I don't really like how that came out well, that's interesting oh nope that works it is flush I guess uh, here let's go here flush there we go apply um, and I'm going to close this out and uh, I have what I created right here. If I want to see the front of it, I can turn it to the front. Um, but you're going to be doing something similar to this. You're going to have to try to make it happen. It's a little bit challenging, but um, good luck to you. And I will see you next class.